In today's session, we are seeing the fresh breakout for the Euro USD below the 1.181 level. And I think uh, for uh, this session, the movement is likely to be limited till we get the FMC monetary policy meeting minutes. And after that only, we can move, expect a substantial move. But if we look at the technical formation going into this uh, release, the bearishness is there for all of us to see. And uh, yesterday's reversal from the levels above 1.185 indicates that uh, this is the time to keep looking for the shorting opportunities and uh, we can adapt a short on rise approach, sell on rise approach for the Euro USD. If you consider the data docket for the day, there were not uh, many market moving releases and I think if we consider it almost blank, uh, that will not be wrong. But there were minor releases like uh, MBA mortgage applications for the US which uh, saw a sl slight decline and uh, if you consider the mortgage rate, the interest rates charged by the banks for the home loans, it has also slightly moderated to 3.15. And uh, if we consider the equity segment of the market, we are not really seeing much movement, but a slightly bullish undertone is there. And after yesterday's decline, we are seeing a slight retracement on the higher side. And uh, if we consider the formation, it is uh, more of sideways and uh, a breakout on the either side will be needed for the momentum to gain in the equities. And uh, on the currency side, we are seeing the dollar spending the day in consolidation. And as I said, the movement is likely to accelerate only after the release of the FMC meeting minutes. So let us consider the technical formation going into this uh, important release. First, we will consider the Euro USD and then we will also see what are the implications of the current technical patterns for the USD JPY. Let's start with the Euro USD's technical outlook first. This is the daily time frame chart and uh, here this consolidation phase which has kept the dollar uh, euro usd supported above 1.18 level might be coming to an end and if we see a fresh breakout below the 1.18 then i think the probability is quite high that we will see the extension of this bear run towards this prior swing low the next support is there around 1.171 if we consider these uh, Fibonacci expansion and also the prior swing low is around the same price area. So that is the next price area for the Euro USD, which can be considered as a possible target for any bearish opportunity in the Euro USD. The longer term trend is pretty much bearish, but mostly we will have to rely on the short term to medium term trend for uh, identifying the optimum trading opportunities. So if we consider this uh, regression curve and the pivot point series, in yesterday's session, I had uh, talked about this uh, consolidation and uh, after that, the possible break below the crucial level. And that's what we are seeing in yesterday, uh, sorry, today's session. We haven't really seen a big move so far and uh, we are more likely to see the euro usd consolidating for next couple of hours and uh, the probability is uh, quite good for a breakout on the lower side and uh, that is what we are counting on so if you want to look for the trading opportunity in today's session the short sale anywhere close to 1.18 looks good while keeping the days high as our uh, immediate uh, marker for keeping a stop loss if you consider these uh, pivot point series, the price action is happening in the bearish bracket. It is in between these central pivot point, the immediate hurdle on the higher side, and then the support is there around 1.171 on the lower side. And uh, naturally, if we simply use the classical interpretation of the pivot point series, the undertone is uh, pretty much bearish. The regression curve is also telling the similar story where the inclination is uh, still pretty much on the bearish side. 
and uh, the day's uh, price action so far suggests that there is a congestion in the euro usd we have seen the euro usd consolidate in a very narrow range and uh, now as the us station has uh, begun we are seeing some uh, pickup on the shorting side and the traders the market participants are slowly pushing the euro usd below the day's low and i think this might be a critical factor and we can go short closer to 1.180 to 1.181 price band while keeping the stop loss anywhere close to 1.183 but uh, we can expect some volatility after the release of the fmc monetary policy meeting minutes and uh, we need to be prepared for that so i would suggest that keep the positioning light even if you go for short sell straight away and uh, if you want to wait you can wait it out and uh, after that after the release comes in you can place the orders depending on the immediate price reaction for the euro usd and uh, as i said the immediate target is uh, going to be at least with the risk reward ratio of 1 is to 2 so if we are taking the risk of around 20 25 pips we will of course have to target at least 50 pips on the lower side and that naturally means we will have to wait for the price of the euro usd to move towards 1.175 at the minimum even if we are trading from the very short term perspective now moving on to the usd jpy's technical formation this is the daily time frame chart and in yesterday's session i had talked about the support closer to one point uh, sorry 110.5 for the usd jpy and uh, from those levels we saw some sort of retracement in the early hours of today's station but the gains uh, didn't really last long and again the selling pressure mounted and usd jpy came back to the 110.5 now as the us station has got in the way we are seeing some fresh buying momentum but uh, there is no clear cut trend it's more of an sideways momentum in the usd jpy and uh, here also the similar uh, expectations are as we were talking about the euro usd so i think the big move is uh, more likely to happen after the release of the fmc meeting minutes and prior to that the usd jpy is likely to spend the day consolidating in this narrow range so if we have to consider the key levels which are going to be of high importance in today's session then i think we will have to pay attention to this central pivot point which is there around 110.5 and uh, this is where the usd jpy is finding support on the lower side and if we consider this uh, prior swing low this is also around the same price zone so taken together these two factors are providing the near term support for the usd jpy and uh, that is the reason why we are seeing the usd jpy rebounding after getting close to 110.5 on two separate occasions and uh, even moving forward also i am expecting this support to remain strong and uh, as long as price action is above this we will be uh, in a better position to go long rather than to looking rather than looking for any shorting opportunity so this is going to be a critical marker if you consider the regression curve it has flattened to some extent but uh, still it is inclined on the bullish side and uh, on the higher side we do have the hurdle in place around these uh, 200 sma as we have the breakout on the lower side and the price action has uh, dipped below these 200 sma i am expecting the usd jpy to be confined within these uh, support on the lower side closer to 110.5 and this resistance on the higher side and uh, it is more likely to spend the day consolidating and uh, only a clear cut uh, breakout on the either side will make the way for the usd jpy to extend its, its range and uh, rally on the either side but as i said we have to see and uh, decide as per the price action and uh, for that we are going to need a fresh catalyst and that is going to be the fmc meeting minutes and uh, if after the release we see a sharp jump on the higher side then i think the trade can be taken anywhere close to 
8 to 110.9 for a move beyond this 200 SMA but uh, for that we will need a sharp jump on the higher side and uh, you will have to adapt and uh, use a uh, buy stop that is uh, the order where you buy above the current market price so those kind of setup can work well and uh, if we see a break on the lower side then i think uh, it will be better for us to sit on the sidelines rather than go for any trade till the clarity emerges in the usd gpy price action so that's it from my side for today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write to me in the feedback section and i will be more than happy to take the discussion forward before i sign off i would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and one should be careful while using the information provided you can check out the Degoscopy analytics page for which the links have been provided and uh, also if you want to start trading you can use the gforex platform and if you have any query or any clarification regarding how to use this you can write to me in the feedback section you can also follow us on the facebook thank you all for joining in have a profitable day ahead goodbye